Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I think those of you who have known me for a while or watched a lot of my videos or I don't know, did some internet stalking, probably know that I work as a recruiter in the tech industry. And one of the questions that I get a lot is, you know, is the tech industry still doing good? Like how can I get into the tech field? And most importantly, how much do you get paid working in tech? So I thought it was a good time to film this video and share with you guys the list of the highest paying tech jobs in 2020. 23. And then most importantly, I'm going to tell you how you can potentially get into this field. I'm also partnering up with Career Fitter in this video, but more on that later. So number one on our list is computer programmers. So the average salary that you can expect to earn in this field is around $155,000. So what do computer programmers really do? As a computer programmer, you will write, change, and test code and script. Computer programmers usually enjoy the behind the scene process of writing code and take pride in working on a sequence until it achieves the desired results. So if you consider yourself more of like an introverted person who really enjoys building and testing something, this could potentially be a really great job for you to explore. A really great thing about this job is that it is one of the most essential jobs in the tech industries, which means that there's most likely always going to be demand for it. One of the great things about this specific job is that since it is quite a behind the scene type of role, you will most likely be able to enjoy the flexibility and be able to work remotely. Now, how do you get into this field? So while a bachelor's degree is highly recommended for this job, it is not technically required. There are a lot of bootcamp programs out there that will help you to build the skills and get into this field without, you know, spending hundreds of thousand dollars on a degree. So next on our list is computer and information research scientist. So if you feel like you're one of those people who loves researching and gathering data and using that data to solve complex problems, this could be a really good job. An old transparent in order to land this job, you will most likely need to have an advanced degree, such as a master's or a doctorate degree, and you do need to show sufficient knowledge in this field. However, pursuing an advanced degree in this specific field can bring a really high return on investment because many people in this field earn upward of $200,000 per year. There are many schools that offer degrees that can help you to get into this field, so I would recommend looking at a master's degree in computer science or data science. So next on our list is computer network architect. So candidates in this field can also expect to make upward of $168,000 a year. As a computer network architect, you would work to create data communication networks from the ground up. Much like an architect of buildings, being a computer network architect involves envisioning that which does not exist yet and crafting a plan to build it. You will get to create things like internet networks, local area networks, wide area networks, or cloud-based networks. So if you're the type of person who enjoys you know, building things or creating creating efficient systems, this could be a really great job for you. Because networks are used within almost every single organization these days, it is a highly demanded job right now. So there are a lot of certificate programs that will help you to get started in this field. A lot of them are cloud architect certifications. However, to really stand out from other candidates, you will most likely need to have a bachelor's degree. The next on our list is computer support specialist. So if you're really trying to get your foot in the door, but you know, are a little bit intimidated by some of the other jobs that we've discussed earlier, you can always get started with becoming a tech support specialist. So a little secret, I actually used to work as a tech support specialist or like a help desk specialist back when I was in college. I worked there for four years. And while you don't start out getting paid that much, you learn so much throughout the process and you can eventually start making upward of $168,000 a year. So what do you do in day to day as a computer support specialist? So you will get to to assist customers with different tech related issues. This can include anything from resetting passwords, troubleshooting. To succeed in this role, you must have a patient personality and excellent customer service skills. I can attest to that because most people who are having technical issues, they're probably trying to get you know work done or school work done and they can't get it done because of those tech issues. So they're usually really frustrated, but you get to be one of those people who really solve their problem. But at the end of the day, it's one of those tech jobs that allows you to direct help someone, which is one of the things that makes this job really great. So how to get started. So you don't need a computer science or like IT degree to get into this field. There are a lot of certificate programs that allow you to get into this field. Or honestly, if you're just very computer savvy and you feel like you know certain operating systems really well, you can still get your foot in the door. That's how I did it on the college campus. I didn't have any experience or I wasn't even majoring in computer science, but I was able to get into it because, you know, I felt like I was 
relatively computer savvy and had good problem solving skills. So again, this could be one of the easiest and fastest ways for you to get into the tech field. This is also a friendly reminder that if you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to hit that like button because as you know, it really helps me to grow here on YouTube and really allows me to continue providing you with all of this information for free. And in general, if you enjoy content about finance, personal development and side hustles, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every week. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So the next tech job on our list is software quality assurance analyst or tester. So people in this field can expect to make upward of $150,000. Software quality assurance analysts work really hard to ensure that software programs run smoothly. As a software quality assurance analyst or tester, you would run simulations and instituted quality control measures to identify current or potential computer application problems. Pretty much if you are very detail oriented or very analytical and you kind of really like identifying, you know, different areas of opportunity within something, this could be a really fun job for you. And since there are so many different types of software or apps or platforms available out there right now, this field is expected to grow by 25% in the next few years. All right, so how do you get your foot in the door? So luckily a bachelor's degree is not always required for this field. So you can enroll yourself into a certificate or a bootcamp program. So I'm actually gonna share an article from CareerFitter that goes over all of these jobs that I just mentioned. And you can also find the links to all the certificate programs or even degree programs that you can take a look at if you are interested in any of these jobs. So for those of you who are not familiar, CareerFitter is one of the best providers of work personality tests, whether you're just starting out or whether you even want to switch careers because it's never too late to pursue what you're really passionate about. CareerFit is a personality test that will help you to figure out your strength, your weaknesses, the ultimate work environment that works best for you. And it can also give you a list of careers that are best for you based on the results that you get from the test. And it can also show you an approximate salary data and hopefully help you to make the best decision in your career. So if you're interested, make sure to use my link down below to sign up for the free personality test. So let's move on to the next job on our list. Information security analysts, top paying salary, $165,000 plus. So this is actually a very important and very relevant job in the current market. What you do as an information security analyst is you keep people's private information secure and private. With so many data breaches that we see every single day, this role will probably continue to become more and more critical, especially in industries such as finance, healthcare, or government related fields. So in all transparency, most information security analysts are expected to have a bachelor's degree in the computer science field. However, since it is still a relatively newer field, you can land a job through non-traditional routes, such as getting a certification in cybersecurity, where I've also seen a lot of candidates with military background that were able to get that on the job training. The next on our list is web developers and digital designers. This is actually my bread and butter, so I can definitely share a lot about this field. So if you are interested in the tech field, but you do consider yourself more of like a creative person, this could actually be a really good field for you to get into. So what you do as a web developer is you create websites and maintain them. You'll get to observe and optimize website speed and traffic. And as a digital designer, you get to create, design, build out website layouts, or you get to design different apps and make sure they're user friendly. Many people in both of these fields are either self-employed or get to work remote. So if you value flexibility, this could be something that you can explore. So I actually do freelance work as a career coach at a design bootcamp. And I can tell you, you do not have to have a bachelor's degree in you know, design or web development or related field. It is totally something that you can get into by completing a bootcamp or even know some people who are self-taught, especially because in this field, the most important thing is going to be your portfolio rather than your education and your resume. So if you do have that internal talent, you can succeed in this field. And the next on our list is computer systems analysts. So if you enjoy analyzing things and improving efficiency of different systems or finding areas of opportunity, what these people do is analyze an organization's computer systems, strategize methods to optimize them, and study the current costs and benefits of current and potential system options. Computer systems analysts are also instrumental in designing new computer systems for a company. And as a computer systems analyst, you also get to be a 
really important part of designing and installing new systems. So typically candidates in this field will have a bachelor's degree in computer science. However, you can also enroll in a certificate program, or if you already have experience in the relevant field, you will also be able to get your foot in the door with this job. And last but not least is network and computer systems administrators. So a top paying salary for this job will be around $130,000 per year. As a network and computer systems administrator, you will get to install network hardware as well as software for different organizations. As a part of the job, you will oversee ongoing functionality and make upgrades and repairs when needed. This job will be a great fit for you if you have a hard time with, you know, monotony or like day-to-day -day routines because this job will most likely present new challenges each day. Most network and computer systems administrators do have a bachelor's degree in a technology-related field. And that is it for me today, guys. Again, make sure to check out the career fitter link down below. Hit that like button, that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.